Oh boy. The bigger phone, harder to set in this thing. Uh, <clears throat> I was not prepared. Oh, we're gonna run with it anyway, though. What's up, guys? It's Chris, welcome to VHB Engines. Yay, double header here. We get another K series entry and another K23 entry. Uh, so, uh, the other day I got a, a question from Kenneth on Facebook you know, to compare, do a side by side comparison of A2 head and an A3 head. And I was like, there's no need because they're the same. Uh, they're not the same. <laughs> yeah, they're not the same at all. Uh, they're very similar, but they're not the same. And it's not just the the whole lack of the proper IV tech. It is also a meatier head. There is more meat on the combustion chambers on the A3 head than there is on the A2 head. And instead of it being a complete circle, it's a compl it's like a C or maybe a D, I guess, like a fat D. <laughs> uh, there's more meat. Anyway, so what's the big deal here? Uh, combustion chamber volume on the, the regular K's heads, which is like the the, I, the real IV tech heads are like 50.5. And I think that that across the board for the real V tech heads are, is the truth there, 50.5. Um, but on the A3, the head is a 48. It's a... 48 chamber, um, combustion chamber volume. Uh, so what does this mean? The 48 to the 55 point, uh, or the, to the 50.5. This means that the compression is higher on the fucking A3. And they're like, oh, what the fuck, Chris? You know, the compression's like nine and change on the A3. Yes, because of the pistons. So I've preached about the A3 and making it a viable build for a long time. And I would say, you know, saying how much power you can make off just doing a piston swap. Yeah, I definitely 100%, you know, reaffirming that because dropping A2 pistons in, a, in an A3 as is isn't 11 to 1 compression like the K2082. It's 11.5. That's type R compression. It's type R compression. So if you were to get type R pistons and drop them in, you're getting 12 and change. Uh, that's fucking awesome. Hey, uh, before I was, I complained, uh, I think I made like a ranty video. It's in the K series playlist about the uh, the ITR pistons or the CTR pistons, whichever the K series type R pistons in the uh, in the K twenty three. Yeah, can you use them? Can you use them? Can you use them? Yes, you can use them. But then you know, I was saying that yeah, you can use them, but it's not really that big of a, a compression jump. You know, eleven five compared to eleven is no big deal. But that's not true anymore. <laughs> Fuck, it's twelve. It's all been changed. Um, and I'm actually, you know, happy on the timing on this too because I just bought 11 5 to 1 compression manly pistons that I was going to, you know, for an engine I was going to turbo and I was going to put an A3 head on that motherfucker and it was going to be 12 and change for boost and I'm, you know, I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I want to do that, you know, especially because I'm going to be running on pump gas. Talk about minimizing the fuck out of my window of safety there. Yeah, so, um, I, but anyway, I finally sold, or not finally sold, but, um, I had built a Vitara single cam short block for somebody and, you know, for a discount, I offered to take a Cape 24A2 head off his hands. And from what I can see, the only, uh, the only thing that would be a, like a, a downside to running the Cape 24A2 head would be like the intake manifold or whatnot. Um, but anyway, I, I got to do more digging into that. Sadly, the truth is, despite the fact that I've built a couple of cave series blocks already, I'm still, there's still, I'm still taking, I would consider baby steps. I know a lot about the platform, but I don't know nearly as much about the platform as I do about the D and the B. So I'm still learning a great deal about the K, but the K series has been my main focus recently. Uh, my last, like, three engine blocks on the stand is, have been Ks and more are going to be going on. Um, as soon as I get done with this over here, uh... I've got another one that's going on, and I ordered rings for that one already. I'm gonna uh, use the stock bearings. Uh, if you saw on Instagram, they were minty as fuck. So I'm gonna run the keep the stock bearings and run or just put new rings and run um, the Z3 pistons I have in that, or this K20Z, which is the same as the A2 anyway. So yeah, uh, that block's gonna be for sale soon. Uh, I'm thinking of. 500 local pickup, or maybe 650 shipped. Yep. Anyway, uh, real short video, but it's definitely is 
super important. I thought this had to add out there. You know, I, I think um, I said before a long time ago that the K23 would probably be a, a platform that I, you know, that would be turning around a lot. That would be my new go-to block, and I think that that holds true. I've got fuck tons of uh, of IV Tech pistons and a fuck ton of uh, A3 blocks, so I'm planning to be seeing more of those in the near future. Uh, have a surplus right now, so I'm trying to stop buying and start turning around. I need to start selling some stuff. So if you're local in Florida, you, you're gonna see me pop up here and there. Uh, but anyway, prices are pretty firm. As much as I want to sell, I'm not trying to undercut myself here. But I'm also down to take trades as discounts as as, as usual. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and peace. I hope that and you know let's get some more people out here building these Franken K23s. I'd like to see what happens. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching.